Uh, Turkey has sharply increased its oil imports from Iran. According to Turkey's Statistical Institute, the country imported well over a million tons of Iranian crude this March. That is the highest monthly purchase since last July. However, new U.S. sanctions are now harming relations between Ankara and Tehran. Let's talk about this a bit further now. I'm joined by political analyst Chris Banbury uh, from London. Uh, good to see you. Thank you for coming on RT today. Uh, trade between Iran and Turkey has increased sharply over the past months, uh, peaking in March. How much of a problem are U.S. and EU sanctions on Iran for Ankara? I, well, they'll be putting pressure on Ankara to stop buying Iranian oil. But uh, the Americans and the Europeans have less sway over Ankara than they would have had 20 years ago. Uh, that up until the end of the Cold War, Turkey was a very close ally of uh, America in the front line of the Cold War with the former Soviet, Soviet Union and generally tailed along behind American needs. Since those days, we've seen two things happening. First, at the end of the Cold War, We've also seen Europe, the European Union reject Turkey on, I think, essentially racist gro uh, grounds. And changes, it has to be said, inside Turkey. The Turkish military are no longer the dominant force they were inside Turkey politics. And Tur the Turkish economy is expanding. It's becoming a real player in the region. And therefore, it has got its own interest in having a good relationship with Iran, another expanding country in that uh, region. There are problem areas between Iran and Turkey over the question of Syria, over the question of the Turks citing the mi missile defense shield, which is aimed very much at Iran as well as at Russia on, on its territory. But there are good reasons for the two countries to cooperate. And we've seen growing economic ties between the two. It's not just a question of uh, oil. There's yeah. been an increase in Turkish sales of jewels and gold and other uh, precious metals to, uh, to Iran, numerous exchanges between the two, the two countries. So it's not not just simply a question now of London or uh, Washington or Paris or uh, Berlin calling the shots in Turkey. They are operating in, a, in their own way, in their own interests. And the, the fact that we've seen this huge expansion of uh, oil, Iranian oil, being bought by Turkey in March, I think reflects that and shows they're not just going to jump to the heel of uh, the beck and call of the Americans or the European Union. Well, certainly it, it does seem to be that, and certainly some analysts uh, might, might see that as well, that are Turkey taking unilateral steps to increase Iranian oil imports, where, where America is bullying other countries to reduce uh, their Iranian oil imports. I mean, so so is, it, is it in your eyes you think that Turkey will not succumb to the bullying of Washington, D.C., that it is, that is basically trying to penalize countries for still buying certain amounts of Iranian crude? Well, I think they are trying to penalize it, but the problem is they are, they're incapable of getting uh, India, China, Russia to jump, uh, to jump uh, when, they sh when they whistle, and therefore the sanctions to me don't seem to be working. And, you know, the, uh, Russia, the Iranian foreign minister made the point today that the sheer quality of Iranian crude oil means that countries want to buy it. It is, you know, it's, it's in demand in terms of that. And we've seen the European Union we, uh, le lessening the sanctions. Ten European Union states have been told they can have uh, economic relationships with Iran. So I don't really see, and I think you also have to question why the sanctions still in place. There are now talks going on over the whole nuclear issue of uh, the Iranian uh, nuclear program. Iran is bending over backwards, as far as I can see, to make uh, to go along with those uh, talks. Therefore, there are negotiations, and this is precisely a time in rather than trying to increase sanctions on Iran, maybe they should be lessening sanctions as a show of good faith going into those negotiations. All right, now what about, uh, as, as you're talking about these uh, U.S. oil sanctions, the, the actual true oil ban is, is, is uh, due to come into effect in July. Do you, do you think Turkey will be able to, to get by without Iranian oil? Did you see Turkey giving up Iranian oil and, and actually at some point, perhaps in July, uh, doing exactly what Washington is demanding of it? Well, I could, I could see Turkey actually saying no, we'll keep buy, buying it. Iran is supplying virtually the majority of their uh, oil needs. If they weren't buying Iranian oil, they'd be buying Iraqi oil, and that opens up another uh, number of issues there over uh, a number of questions. I don't think the Iraqis, the, sorry, the Ankara would be that keen on being dependent on Iraq at the, uh, at the moment. And I think it also has to be seen in a wider, a wider ballpark that really Turkey is exerting its own influence in the region. And it doesn't necessarily come into conflict with Iran. Turkey's inter 
are interested in the, the Caucasus uh, and other, uh, other parts of the world. It doesn't feel itself uh, you know, pitch, pitched against uh, Iran. No, certainly not in the way that Saudi Arabia and the Gulf states do, who are, in my book, desperate for someone to attack Iran because they fear Iranian uh, hegemony in the region. They feel Iranian influence in that region uh, and uh, don't like the Iranians and never have liked the Iranians. All right, now very briefly, so I do apologize that we're running low on time here, but Turkey is not the only country heavily dependent on Iranian oil. Let's look at one of the biggest, fastest growing economies in the world, India, another country for whom it's crucial. How much of this is connected with U.S. geopolitics in the region? I think it's very much connected with that. What we're seeing is those rising economies, and since the days of the Cold War, a lessening of, the, of their alliance, or if you like, their allegiance to the United States of, uh, of, of America. And we were seeing you know, countries like India beginning to adopt their own foreign, a new style of foreign policy, and they're reflecting their own uh, new economic power. Therefore, I don't think India, which has very important links with Tehran, is just simply going to jump and impose sanctions. And in fact, it's not done that. China is certainly not going to do that. And Russia is not going to do that. And other countries like Indonesia, which is another expanding country, I don't think will do that either. Therefore, the sanctions, there is a big hole in the sanctions which the West is trying to impose on Tehran. And it looks to me as if they're not going to work in terms of what they're aimed at, which is certainly what the Americans and the British wanted to do, which use sanctions on Iranian oil to try and beggar the Iranian economy and undermine the Islamic Republic of Iran. I don't think that is going to happen. And therefore, there is a real problem for the West now in imposing those san uh, sanctions on Iran. It's certainly a conversation that requires more time than we have available here on RT today. But uh, from London, political analyst uh, Chris Banbury, thank you very much. Thank you.